This is a Suzuki Swift 1.5 GLX. It's a five door, which is great for a little car like this. 2007 on a 57 plate. It's got air conditioning. It has done 70,687 miles. Um, fuel economy, urban is 32.8. Extra urban, 53.3 and combined is 43.5. Nought to 60 time of 10 seconds, which isn't bad for a little car like this and a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Um, I'll show you the service history in a minute, which is uh, it's pretty good. I think we'll be servicing it again before it goes out. Um, let's see, I was just looking for the MOT. MOT, 18th of December 2018. Road tax is for six months is £104.50 and 12 months 170. I'll just show you the service history. We've got, uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven services there. That last service is 2014 in December at 43755, I think it is. Then we have another service which hasn't been stamped in the book, but we have got the invoice for, and that was done on the 14th of the 12th, 2016, um, at 57,212 miles. We'll be servicing it again before it goes out. So it's uh, it's got a, a, a pretty good service history. Um, it's, we've got keyless ignition as well. We've also got keyless entry. That's the key. There's a little button on the door outside, so if you've got the key in your pocket, you press the button and it opens the door. You get in again with the key in your pocket and uh, we can just turn it like so without plugging the key in anywhere. We've got electric door mirrors. They work, there's a little sign on them to point out that they're heated as well. Got to put my seat belts on. Now have we got, so we've just got height adjustable steering wheel there. But little cars, plenty of room in it. Um, with me sitting the way I sit, there's probably not a whole lot of room in the, the back seat behind me. But uh, as far as driving goes, then uh, I've got bags of room. Chap there walks up here every week. He's got legs like tree trunks. I'm assuming he's got bricks or something in his backpack there. I'm rather him than me. We've got CD radio. The aircon switch is there and it's fairly warm and it's in that, it's quite a nice day in the UK which is not something you hear often. Global lock in here. Whoops. Electric front windows, the rear windows wind down manually. The both the door mirrors work perfectly. We've got volume controls for the radio here. I can't actually see it because my sunglasses are knocking it out. Left hand side, rev counter, the middle is your speedo top right hand side fuel gauge and then we've got the uh, water temperature gauge there bottom right i've always done well with suzuki's in the past and the the little suzuki cars um a, again great cars very reliable this feels like it could do with perhaps a bit of air in the tyres. 
but as I say we haven't serviced it and we've not checked it over yet that's what this test drive is all about to make sure that uh, I can't find anything that you would only find on a road test and not just on a ramp inspection car's going to be about two and a half thousand pounds but it doesn't matter how much it is we always do this test um, at least 10 miles I think I think it's actually more closer to 12 miles that we do get it up to normal operating temperature make sure there's nothing untowards no noises or whines or vibrations and more importantly no fluid leaks just making a noise in there take that out see if that gets rid of it so in the center there it's showing me the outside temperature which at the moment is 12 degrees believe it or not the fastest car in the world but that's not what you're buying it for it actually looks very sporty I would say so you've got a uh, digital clock on the left hand side in the center panel there and uh, outside temperature gauge and then miles per gallon car showing 42 at the moment dare say that will go up uh, quite a bit when we get it on the motorway or just at a steady speed nice and quiet nice gearbox clutches light no vibrations when we're pulling up so discs are okay nothing through the back I'm assuming it's drums on the back although I've not looked So we've no up and down vibrations. You do need to work the gears if you want to accelerate reasonably fast. But again that's only to be expected the size of the engine and the size of the car and the gearing nice steering and handling Indicators here on the left, got headlights, side head and main beam on the uh, indicator stalk as well, wipers are on the right. They work good, rear wash wipe, so that's squirting out as well. Rear wash wipe is on the end of the wiper stalk. Um, turn it just that little bit further 
it squirts the back screen, everything's working as it should. Not a big believer in indicator or uh, I photographed this, uh, look at that, not, not once has that person indicated, not once. I took it to photograph it yesterday and uh, there was a BMW X5 there and this was next to it and it, it looked tiny. But it, as I say, it's a five door and there is actually plenty of room in it. Nice light interior. Just a, a bit of contrasting light grey metallic on the steering wheel and also the door cards. Uh, 70 miles an hour there, 3,000 revs. Nice and comfortable. Nice and quiet, no noises from anywhere. The rattle from the glove box has gone now, I've taken the, uh, these out of it. I was being hypercritical. Car's very clean inside and out. There's a little bit of wear on the driver's footwell carpet uh, from your heels. But I think most the, most people would have rubber mats in the car anyway, or carpet mats, and you'd never notice that. And it's a it's a really nice, tidy little car. Two cup holders at the front there, a power socket. Lauka. Great handling.
check the air conditioning. Seems to be working fine. sporty ride, nice little car. and easy to set up through bends. Oops, going too fast. Lotus. Lots of trouble, usually serious. trying to remember to put a link to our advert but as I say it's a, it's a very very good looking car It'll be somewhere in the region of two thousand five hundred pounds this and when you think what you can get for two and a half thousand pounds these days as to what you could get I don't know ten years ago I, I would say you get a heck of a lot more than you for your money now than than you did then MOT and just serviced, all ready to go. Should be fairly economical, cheap to insure, and uh, cheap to run all round.
seat height adjuster as well up and down so plenty of leg room bags of arm and shoulder room nice slick gearbox back at the garage been very very busy the last couple of weeks we're well down on cars and uh, need probably 10 to 15 more there you go that's it little Suzuki excellent car